Welcome back to some more Danganronpa, everyone. Episode 2. Uh, we've been called to the gymnasium by the weird, creepy bear. I'm just going to call it Two-Faced Bear, because I have no idea what its name is. Um, we've met a bunch of characters, all very different. I still don't really know what's going on, so we're just going to crack on. Uh, I, I don't really know if I have a favorite character yet. We've barely really spoken to any of them. Um... I have a theory about this guy, though. Hifumi Yamada. I have a theory about him, and I don't know whether I should say it. Fuck it, let's just say it. I think he's evil. I think, just because of his voice, he sounds similar to the bear. Now, that could just be because it was the same voice actor, or the, it just coincidence, I don't know. But also, the face kind of looks like a... So it looks similar. I don't know. Anyway. Let's head to the gymnasium, unless I want to talk to these people before I go. Listen. I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out, right? Yeah, let's just go to the gymnasium. Let's do it. Where is the gymnasium? Is that the gymnasium? I should really check my map. Uh... Well, I'm guessing the gymnasium would be the big freaking football pitch kind of thing, so... And a lot of these doors seem to be sealed off. Why has that got love hearts on it? What would that be? Oh, that's the, the nurses or the doctors. I better make my way to the gym. I need to find out what's going on. Yeah, I need to find out what the heck a gymnasium is. I have no idea. Is some sort of... Uh, I don't know, like, shampoo? What, what is it? What kind of rare flower? That was a joke because I, I don't go to the gym. That was a joke. Anyway. Ooh. Hey, come on. I really, I cannot stress enough. It looks like a corn on the cob, almost. I, that, that must be a legit hairstyle. That must be a thing. It unsettles me. I don't like it. Okay? Hair should not look like that. And if you have hair like that, first of all, I'm jealous because I don't have hair, but what the frick? <laughs> I just, it looks like it would take so much effort to maintain as well. Like, wow. Um, I had no idea uh, this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. Really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Oh yeah, so this is the biker gang dude. Again, I'm gonna forget who the heck these characters are, because there's so many of them. Uh, um. And why isn't there anyone here, walking through the halls? I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? I did give him an annoying voice last time, but it, it also annoyed me, so I'm not gonna bother. They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. Will they, though? Sakura, all we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Shit. Well, hell, it ain't like I, I, I'm i scared of nothing. Let's just get this over with. And I do apologize. I, I apologize for misgendering Sakura. Hey, Should have really known from the name. But, uh, who... Uh, hey, who... Where's whoever called us here? I, d I don't know if you want to antagonize that bear. What are you thinking? Oh no, stop! No running! Oh, God, he is such a blooming goody two shoes. Well then. I too shall go. <coughs> Fuck. Bloody shit. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Uh, d don't leave me here alone. Okay, time for some more tutorial action. Oh, thanks, game. You can press the Y button to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Oh, yeah, I, I did that by accident in the first part. Let's examine the TV. The school has a lot of TVs. It does. It really does. Although it is supposed to be, like, you know... Quite a, a, a well-off establishment. Very highly respected students go here. Uh, or at least that's what we were told. And it turns out they're just like... Biker gang leaders. And I still don't understand. I still don't get it. Uh, 
Okay. It's a lot of trophies. A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. If they're all so bloody talented and gifted. In fact, I seem to remember being in school and there being, like, a gifted and talented bunch of students that were, like, get got to go on trips and shit like that. In fact, I think a couple of my friends were in that group. I wasn't. I wasn't clever enough or gifted or talented enough. Um, so this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. Hmm. What have you got to say, Kyoko? Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Maybe she's screaming on the inside. Um... Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Well, a, a bunch of them just fucks off. Trying to find the, the bear. This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Yeah, I have been pretty much since the main menu of the game. Oh, same shit. Same shit. Okay. Yep. What else can I interact with? I think that's it. Oh, the door. Still filled with, with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the Gaim. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! Yo! So he told you, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff, dude. Hero was right. For now. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! I really don't like that voice. That is creepy. Dig the game soundtrack, though. What is that? Huh? A teddy bear? Yeah, it does look like a teddy bear. I'm not a teddy bear. Oh? I am Monokuma! Monokuma, okay. We have a name for the for Two-Faced Bear. And I What? It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Yeah. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing, it was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Likewise. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. <laughs> Teddy bear can talk. See, I just think their faces look similar. I don't know. I, I'm probably way off on that one. Calm down. I'm sure there's a, just a speaker inside it. Hey, come on now. <laughs> come on now. I told you already. I'm not a teddy bear. Uh, I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Say what? Say 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 what? <laughs> it moved. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. That's really deep. That's a deep, that's, that's a deep place. Come deep, Shrek. Come me real deep. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. But don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear it. That's a very Persona thing. It's very Persona 4. In fact, this whole game is giving me kind of Persona vibes. We've been in a school and something wrong with it. You know what I mean? And now bear puns. Yeah, and a, t and a teddy kind of thing. This is so weird. Bear, that really? You are unfortunate. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. 
giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Quiet down now. Quiet down. Uh, uh, okay, so... Really sorry for this voice, by the way. It's incredibly unpleasant even for me. He has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone stand to it at attention and bow! Uh, good morning! You hear me? Good morning! What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life you will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together. I'm, I don't think I can keep this voice up, guys. I'm just saying, I don't think I can keep this up. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Regarding the end date for this communal life. Too bad. There isn't one? What? Excuse me? In other words, you'll be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> what did he just say? Until the day we di die? Yep. Yup. But fear not, we have an ab uh, quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack f uh, for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. Yeah, I, d I don't think that's my worry right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. It's true. I'm not screwing with you. I'm not. I'm no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Well, that's what a liar would say. Uh-huh. You completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. I, I think he genuinely thinks he's done us a favor. Cut off. So all those metal plates all over the school. Yeah, they're, they're for a reason, shock horror. They're there to keep us trapped in here. Just such a revelation, Makoto. He's so bright. I can understand why you're completely average. Yeah. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, no <laughs> help will not come. That is terrifying. So, with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. So, are there going to be rules to this? Like, are you just going to let us do whatever we want? Hey, come on. Because that could be, like, some Lord of the Flies shit real quick. What the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whatever else is uh, behind all the... Uh, it all, I can't read. I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Uh... Damn you! <laughs> yeah, cut this shit out. It ain't funny anymore. Unbelievable. Uh-oh. Keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? I cry, probably. I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, if you have plenty of time to find out, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Most unfortunate indeed. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, did Yeah, but I don't, I don't... Unless there was some really, really fine print somewhere, I, I don't remember seeing any of this mentioned. And now, before the entrance ceremony's even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... But you know... I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. By dying? Is that going to be the way out? R really? Actually, as headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for just a, uh, for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation cla clause. Class clause. Now then. Please do enlighten me about this rule. In order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. If they were to disrupt that harmony. What, so like, break a rule? Then you're allowed to leave? 
There's got to, there's, I need more info. What? Yeah, what do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another. Oh my god. Murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, ha hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. This is so fucked up. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shut down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Yeah. Like I said before, you guys are the hopes of the world, but you know... Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! Okay. That's what gets you off. What the hell? Yeah, to kill each other, it's... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? Uh, we know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do you... Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? <laughs> say what? <laughs> yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world, got it? Yahoo! You can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead, go on a kill, kill, killing spree. Uh, all right, come on, dude. How long are you going to keep this up? Eh? Hmm? Hey? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can just go ahead and reveal the trick now. There is no trick, buddy. I'm right, right? Because, I mean, you know, this is all kind of trick uh, and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude shit. dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What? You mean like your hair? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Monokuma, I'm on your side now. That's it. I, I, oh shit, I support you fully. You son of a bitch. <laughs> he didn't like that. He roared out and then there was a sudden boom. There was a sound of the floorboard, floorboards, <laughs> floorboards, um, <laughs> as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew up Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked on to his target. This ain't gonna end well for him. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! I really don't see this uh, ending well for him. What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! I don't think this game's rated uh, PG somehow. Oh, hey, shit! Damn it. No smart come back this time. Did I press an auto button? Piece of shit! Something got down. Um, what's, the, what's the beeping? Get rid of it. What? Huh? What happened? Did I skip something by accident? Is there a bomb? What? He threw Monokuma? And as soon as he did, is Monokuma gonna explode? What? Uh, that, what the? That sure as shit wasn't a joke. He, it blew the hell up. Wait, I must have skipped something. Crap, how do I turn auto off? Oh, there we go. I, pr I pressed that again and it didn't turn off. Anyway, sorry about that. I may have missed a scene there, but I'm assuming it threatened to like blow itself up. And it did. Um, what the fuck? There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. 
explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life... Yeah, come to think of it, I don't think I've ever seen an explosion in real life. I've never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey. No such look. I told you, I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Monokuma! <laughs> There's another one. D damn you! Son of a bitch, you seriously tried to kill me just now. I mean, you did attack him too. So, yeah. Of course! Well, yes, I was seriously try uh, serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations after all. Okay, yeah, I okay, so we didn't miss much. I do apologize. I accidentally pressed the button. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat in the butt. This is bad. Hey, hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Oh boy. Don't forget the surveillance camera. Surveillance camera. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? Oh boy. So oh so some people are gonna get horrifically murdered, aren't they? Huh? I mean, yeah, it's pretty pretty uh pretty extreme, but well? Oh to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Ta -da! Oh it's a handbook. Oh, oh that's so cool. As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it an e-handbook. Okay. What do we do with it? Moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. it reminds me of my uh, homework planner. God, oh, it's been it's been so long since I've been this <laughs> been at school. Uh, fifteen years. Shit. Uh, when you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? It's completely waterproof. Okay, cool. Space Age design. It can withstand an impact force up to 10 tons. Very resistant. That is quite, quite robust. Okay, contains all the school regulations. You guys. Oh, any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Rules are strict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishment in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life. See ya. And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. Yeah, I... I, <laughs> I knew it would be messed up, because I've been told that this game is pretty, pretty out there. But I had no idea it was going to be this. So guys, how should we define what we just experienced? Uh, batshit fucking bananas. What the crap? Uh, wh wh why? I just don't understand any of this. We have to li live here forever? Or, or kill? <laughs> what, what? What just happened? I mean, if I if I had to pick anyone to kill, I'm, I'm killing blooming that rich kid. What's it? Was he the blonde kid? I'm killing him. All the goody two shoes do. Calm down. We need to just calm. Just calm down. Calm down. Let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is. Indeed. Yes, we have to kill someone, right? That's. But killing someone, that's... <laughs> we were abducted out of, out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... <laughs> what, what is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, this is all has to be fake. <laughs> yeah, I'm killing you, buddy. But by Yakuya, I'm killing you. I'm, I'm good for your ass. So, in other words, 
Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. It'd be quite a tense situation, wouldn't it? I could almost taste the hostility, yeah. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Well, duh, yeah. I mean, I don't know how... How would you react in this situation? I, I love these kinds of, uh, like, thought experiments. And, uh, it reminds me of the, um... Have you ever seen the film The Belko Experiment? It's kind of, kind of like that. In a way. So, well, si similar-ish. Uh, but it does, it makes you wonder, how the heck would, would you react to this? Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Yeah, who could have seen that coming? Oh, have we done the prologue? The end! We've beaten the prologue, guys. Surviving students, 15. Oh, so it's... Oh, yeah, so many people are gonna die. To be continued. Whoa! I should have ended the first episode here. Never mind. Spike Chunsoft. Got some opening credits now. Oh, he just shot someone in the dick. What am I in for here? Very funky music. As me. Who's gonna die first? Someone's gonna die first. Well, obviously, someone's gonna die first. Um. Hmm. I wonder. Monokuma. You sick, twisted son of a bitch. I, re I reckon the, f the fanfic guy is going to die first. Then again, no. I think if anyone's going to do something stupid, it's probably that Mondo guy. The biker gang dude. Yeah, I reckon he might do something stupid. Because, I mean, he's already tried to attack the bear once. Although maybe that's enough to put him off. I don't know. Hope. So what kind of gameplay is there going to be? <clears throat> is it purely just, you know, story-based? So many questions. Got an item? You received the school crest present. What? You get presents? Do you want to save the data? Yeah. Oh, I got an achievement! From zero to hero? Just like that. Finish. Yes. Uh, save. Okay. Right. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about it. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. I can't get over that dude's carrot hair. It's ridiculous. He needs to die just because of that. To survive daily life, chapter one. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So, what are you going to do now? It's a very hey. good question. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Right, uh, right, she's right. Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. <clears throat> to forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? I hear you, alright. Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me, punish me. Please, me. I, I volunteer as tribute. Huh? Jesus. If you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. 
However. However, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. To, to look for a way out, duh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I see, although that's probably against the rules. So go be careful. <sighs> and we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But. But before we do uh, all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. That's a good idea. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. Alright, so then... Fine, then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. That's my name! Yep, the owner's uh, name showed up in front of you. I wonder if everyone's handbook, I wonder if everyone's going to have different regulations to follow. That would be quite a cool twist. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. Students. Okay. Yeah. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an acceptable use of time. In other words, the rules begin... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rules. Whatever. Students may reside. Yep. Read that. Night time is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exit. Oh, so is it going to be kind of like Persona where we have choice over how we spend our time? And certain areas, you know, am I going to have to be in my room or wherever the heck we're sleeping by 10 p.m. or I get in trouble? Like, this is interesting. I didn't, I didn't anticipate anything like this. Oh, sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Uh-oh. Within minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited and is... and is destruction of surveillance uh, cameras. Okay. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Oh. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Oh, great. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raise my face, uh, raise my face up from the screen. So you've got to kill. You can only kill someone, and as long as no one knows. You only, well, you only graduate if you kill someone and no one knows who did it. So there's go someone's going to get killed, and we're going to have to figure out who did it, aren't we? It's going to be who done it. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit. What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not going to let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? That's a threat. That's a threat right there. Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. Ooh, I don't trust Celeste. But if he got punished like that, we saw uh, like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yeah, I mean... Yo. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, so that that's so what? Piece of shit! <laughs> kind of kind of sounds like Troy Baker a little bit. In, in fact, remi again, Persona 4 reminds me of, um... Oh, what the shit's his name? The guy that Troy Baker voices in Persona 4. Why well, can't I remember his name? Crap, I feel really bad now. I love that game and I've forgotten his name. <sighs> None of that made too much sense to me, but you are, are you saying you will follow the regulations? Is that it? That's true. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what, what do you think it means exactly? I mean, yeah, if someone realizes that you killed someone, I, I guess you don't graduate. I don't know what happened. And uh, this whole blackened thing. And what... Does graduation really mean you get to leave? I think there's going to be some sort of catch for that. I, I, I don't know. You talk about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered. I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. 
yeah, pretty much seems fairly straightforward. But why? Why, why do we ha have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. You are so going to get killed. D don't jab at me. That's a creepy face. Give me a break. More like full-on stab. Someone's going to get stabbed. Someone's going to get stabbed. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True, we need to find out where exactly we are. Uh, if, is, is, is there any way out? What about food and supply? Yeah, what about food? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Let's do it! Damn straight. Okay, let's all start looking around. Hmm. You'll be going alone? I mean, is that really... To be fair... I think you'd always want to be moving groups of three, right? And there's 15 of us, so we, we could totally do that. Because that would mean no one could really kill someone without it being discovered. But if you're in twos, then you're in trouble. Don't go in twos and... Going alone? I mean, if you're very confident in your ability not to get killed, maybe that's fine, but... What? It does seem pretty stupid, yeah. Hmm. Someone here might have already started to think about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it much easier for them? Hold on a second. Uh, uh, hold on, uh, I, that would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen, you can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But... <laughs> so, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on, like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. <laughs> what? The fuck that's supposed to mean? Such ignorance. A tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. God, I hate this guy. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. Stop it, we shouldn't fight. What? Fuck you to see. Some kind of goody goody little bitch. No, that's the other guy. You wanna throw down? We really I think you're my fucking dad or something? No. But although we now know, possibly, the source of some issues you have, sir. No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch! Fuck you! Fuck you too, Mondo! I, I think you are probably gonna die first now. Did he hit me? He punched me! What? I flew back in a heap. I mean, I guess there's nothing in the rulebook that says you can't punch the crap out of each other. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming, it was just suddenly right there in my face. One second, uh, one second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Damn, that's gotta be a really hard hit. Now that I think about it, maybe I'm kind of... Maybe I'd kind of forgotten? The kind of people I'd been trapped here with? I mean, he was the leader of a biker gang. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. He knocked me out. He completely <laughs> clocked me. Before I can't, yeah, okay. Out like a light. When I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Oh. The un Time Unknown, Chapter 1. Am I in uh, my dormitory? Huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Yeah, it's becoming a bit of a habit. Okay, so where am I now? You have now access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the X button. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. Oh. At certain points, map and truth bullets may be a- What the fuck are truth bullets? You can also save and load game data under system section. Oh good, okay, so I can save, right? 
Finally, press the view button to review the transcript. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Good, I'm gonna bloody need that, because I will forget. <laughs> I will forget what people have said. Right. Well, first of all, I think I should probably save, then. Um, what the heck are truth bullets? Review evidence and witness accounts you've made a record of. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be like... Solving murders and shit. Presence. Report card. Regulations. We're gonna have to keep an eye on regulations because I bet they're gonna change or more are gonna be added. So let's uh, let's save. I'm glad I can save whenever I want now. Did I save? I did. Okay. Right. Let's check. Uh, let's have a look at the report card. So is this gonna, just going to be kind of like bio information of people? Oh yeah, it is. Wow. We don't weigh very much, do we? We're only five foot three! Ah! Oh. Chest. Why does it... <laughs> oh, it's for the girls, isn't it? Let's just confirm that. Let's just confirm that that is, in fact, why they've done that. Yeah. Great. Who's got the biggest boobs? Oh wow, yeah, okay. All around the same. I mean, Sakura's built. Look at that, 218 pounds. Six foot four. Sakura is a fucking demon. I want to be mates with Sakura. I don't, I, I, I feel like if I want to... Oh, then again, you really... Would you... <laughs> Would you want to hang out alone with Sakura? Because the stuff she could do to you... I'm, I'm like, half her weight. She could absolutely destroy me. But be very handy in a, in a scuffle. So what is the point of all this stuff? I, I, we must unlock new info on people as we go. Yeah, I am tiny. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really small. Anyway, right, uh, presents. So I got the crest. I don't know what I do with the crest. Damn, there's that many presents in this game? Are you serious? 114? Is it gonna make me go through all of them to get to the one that I got? Where's the crest? Is it gonna be right at the bottom? Oh, there it is. Proof that you cleared the prologue. It's a patch that... Oh, so it's like, yeah, it's like a badge. Yeah, okay. Like the ones I used to get at Cubs. Which I only ever got one of. <clears throat> uh, right then. Oh, there's some keys on the table. Must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? Yeah, this must be my dorm. I better hang on to, onto it for now. Yep. Right. A lot of shit I can look into. Oh, great. There's a camera just right in my room. That is so messed up. A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. Oh, someone is definitely watching you right now. I'm not allowed to mess with the camera, so I better just make sure I don't touch it. I mean, you can't mess with the, with the camera directly, but could you just, like, hang something in front of it? That's technically not touching the camera. That's just... You know? I think there's gotta be loopholes with that. Can I open this desk? Looks like there's something in the drawer. Oh, it's a toolkit! Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. Why the heck have they given me a toolkit? Don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Okay. a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Yep, completely boarded up. Some kind of metal plate mounted here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh wait, something on the floor. Some kind of lint roller? <laughs> I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? I mean, it doesn't say in the rules, so I ain't cleaning up shit. 
Just an everyday trash can. Don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. Nice? What the heck? What did I just get? Did I get- it? what? Hang on a minute. What was that? What did I just- what happened? Was that another present? Doesn't say how many I've got though. I don't want to have to scroll through all of that just to see if I've got another one. Did I get anything on my report card? No. I don't know what that was then. That was weird. Just check the regulations again. It's probably gonna be the same. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to be back in my dorm by 10. I can't- I don't currently know what the time is though. Right, so nothing's been added. Let's check the TV. Some kind of monitor. Ugh. Oh, something on the wall there. It's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Okay. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Okay, so shower in the mornings, I guess. Also, the bathroom is the good in the girls' rooms include a, a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. Oh, yay. For the girls, a sewing kit. Oh, and we get a toolkit. That's sexist. What if I want to sew? What if what if what if uh Sakura wants to do some, you know, shelf building or something? The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. What? One stab will do the job, girls. I'm sorry, what? For the boys who believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. They're just giving us murder weapons. That's what it's- wow. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. This is fucked up. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Alright, where's the shower then? Is that the door? Is that the door to the shower? Yep, that's the bathroom. Okay. Rattle, rattle. It's not opening. I guess it's locked. What if I need to take a shit? What if I need to take a poop, game? Oh, I can't move anymore. anymore. Let's try and leave then. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. Some of the rooms have locks, huh? Yeah, we've got a key for it. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Yes, it's our dorm, Makoto. Glad you've uh, figured that out all by yourself. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers the question. The next question is... What's everyone up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Well, we don't even know what time it is. It might be middle of the night. Now can we leave? Leave the area, yes. I suppose I could have pressed B there as well. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wow, did I just get punched again? Ah! Oh, that's a very classic cliche anime thing, isn't it? Bump into oh. the into the Sayaka? into the girl in the short skirt. Uh, Sorry, are you okay? I I'm fine. I hope you're okay. I like this music. Sorry about that. Are you just walking around on your own? That's really s so not good. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood, uh, I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Saka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I'm actually built, uh, I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's the, she's the pop sensation. I'm gonna forget what these people... <laughs> what these people do. That's good, then. Uh, are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? 
Yeah, do we have like a massive black eye or something? That's true, I got knocked out right in front of everyone. Yeah, probably not a great first impression. Like, we've probably shown ourselves to be quite the easy target. Quite the weak, uh, the weakling. So, I don't know how that's going to play out. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right in front of the, uh, right in front of the beginning, yeah. Uh, I'm fine, nothing wrong here. That's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Now you see, is she, is she being nice to me because she's genuinely nice? Or is she trying to lull me into a false sense of security? Uh, um... Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen. Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. I would love some food, actually. I'm genuinely hungry. The dining hall? You see? After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we, if we split up to investigate. Why do people split up in these things? So we agreed to get together later and talk about what we, we'd each found out. I'm gonna bet someone's not gonna make it to the dining hall. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good, I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. These characters are going to be making some stupid bloody decisions, aren't they? Okay, everyone's got uh, the name on the door. Okay. So I get to... I get to... Wait. My dorm is right in front of my abuser? Wow. That's messed up. The guy that punched the living crap out of me. I, I live right opposite him. Okay, that's the goody two-shoes. Kyoko. I mean, I, I guess I'm... Am I allowed in other people's dorms? I mean, I'm supposed to go to the, uh... Dining hall. I would be a little bit nervous walking around by myself. What's that? Is that a cupcake? Or is that a trash? Is that just a bin? Can I go in here? Everyone's meeting up at the dining hall. I should head there myself. Okay, it's not going to let me go anywhere, is it? Okay. So, yeah. I wonder if uh, there's going to be things I can do to spend my time and that will affect how the story goes. A dining hall. Oh, bath? Oh, we're not allowed to bath anymore. I mean, they did lock the toilet. The bathroom. Let's just, well, let's just go. Also, I've noticed the music's not uh, dipping in and out this time, so maybe, I don't know, that might have just been my record, uh, recording setup, so I apologize for that. Right, dining hall, here we go. Some really cool transitions. This must be the dormitory dining hall. What's, uh, what's on the menu today? Looks pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess that's not really important right now. With us being prisoners here and all, which is exactly what we are, yeah. That's true. Nobody was here. Nobody's here yet. Don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. Yes. <laughs> just keep an eye on Sack. I don't. I don't know if I trust her yet. Keep her away from any sharp cutlery or something, you know. If she gets her sewing kit out, fucking run for the hills. Like I said, I'm psychic. Oh, you're. You're the psych. She's the pop sensation, but she's also psychic. No, she said she's got really good intuition. She isn't actually psychic, or is she? <laughs> there we go. Okay, I was, uh, don't confuse me. I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? I don't know. It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. <laughs> here comes a tutorial. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're going to be talking to Siaka, right? Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, if you press the Y button, you will go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the D-pad to make a selection and the A button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look into more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Alright. So... 
Let's talk to Sayaka again. Hey, um... By the way, Makoto, what is it? Um... It's just... I know this is kind of... Continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Right, let's press Y. Press Y. Reaction! Um... So I'm- I'm interrupting her? Is that what's happening? I wanted to ask- I wanted to ask you something. Oh, I- okay, I think I get it. What did you want to ask me? Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? I was gonna say, we must know each other. I did say that. I knew we- I knew we remembered her from somewhere. Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, actually I was. Ah. I knew it. Yeah, we knew each other. I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as, uh, as her question was that she remembered me. Yeah, I'm actually shocked. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. I bet. I bet if I talk to a lot of people from my school, I bet a lot of them wouldn't recognize me now. Hey, um... Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised, uh, is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years, of course I remember. Well, that's nice. Well, that's true. But there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I never, I, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. Me neither. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange, that's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. But somehow, mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Are we falling for her already? Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. Oh god, we are. She's totally gonna die. She's gonna die, or she's gonna try and kill us. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know someone here. Ah. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. I mean, that would be comforting. It would. You're amazing, Makoto. Alright, let's calm down a little bit, alright? I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. Okay. And thank you for helping me out. I, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. You, what? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. Okay, we've made an ally. When she says things like that, it... It just gets me pumped up. Which is nice, but still. Everyone else is still late. Yeah. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There's a clock right there. There must be a clock around here somewhere. It's right there. Time is it right now? Seven o'clock? Damn, we got three hours before we gotta go to bed. Uh, um. You were unconscious for a pretty long time. Yeah, like all day, basically. We, we might have, like, some serious freaking damage up there. Like concussion or something. I see. I see. <clears throat> Without being able to look, uh, look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. That is very true. Although it does look like there's an outside area there. It's probably artificial. I have to say, stay in this place for too long. I might go just go crazy. I think a lot of people are going to go crazy before the end of the game. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Hey. Oh, great. It's you. Ah, uh, Makoto, Sayaka. So you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. Mm -hmm. I guess that just, just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear, I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice, justice, shall always prevail. What are you talking about? <laughs> that is a bit much. And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in, one after another. I'm gonna guess one person's gonna be missing. After a few minutes, 
Everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Is it everyone? Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. We're having a meeting, are we? Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. That is a good idea. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. I think I see everyone, actually. Oh no, where's the, um, oh, I forget her name. The, the, the lavender-haired girl? I don't see her. Hold on a sec. Is she missing? What are you talking about? Someone's missing. Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver, yeah, lavender, silver, whatever. She's totally not there. Ah. Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? She's not here. Do you think that that's something we should probably look into? What? I took another, uh, I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? Everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Because she's been murdered. Could it be because... The only question is how. How, well, who, how and who? Who killed her, and how have they done it? And how messed up is it? <laughs> oh boy. Was she really? No, no, I'm just overthinking things. I mean, if someone, if someone has killed her already, they work bloody quick. But I think we should probably check her dorm. <laughs> Darn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? He always is. Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope Speak Academy briefing meeting has begun. Um... Uh, Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. I mean, I haven't found jack shit. <laughs> you know, what's up? I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? Already? Fine, sure. <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. What has she done? What has she done, Makoto? Like, smiled and be pleasant. Anyway. Looks like we have to talk to everyone, and this is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you're enjoying this playthrough so far. It's getting more interesting, for sure. It had a quite a slow start, uh, but I think something's, something's gone horribly wrong for Kyoko. And uh, hopefully we'll find out what that is next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.